Acne treatment is one of the most common consultation that I do for my patients in my clinic. In today's video, I will be discussing A to Z about acne. Hi, I'm Dr. Jyoti Gupta, consultant dermatologist, practicing in Panchi Enclave, New Delhi. Through this video, you will learn about what is acne, why do acne occur, types of acne, treatment options for acne, including regular face washes, moisturizers to be used. Acne, commonly called as pimples or zits, is a condition affecting oil glands, also known as pilosebaceous unit. It is characterized by oiliness, that is seborrhea, formation of white blackheads called as closed and open comedones, red raised eruptions, pus-filled lesions and cysts, which eventually heal with some sort of scarring. If we go deep into its major causes, it's mainly the oil gland which either produces more oil or there is not a right type of oil production and there is infection of these glands by a bacteria known as Propionobacterium acnes. Almost all teenagers are affected at some point of time by acne and that is considered as completely normal. These are called physiological acne and they usually start declining by the age of 20-25 years and do not leave any kind of scars or pigment changes. There is definitely a genetic component, so if your parents have been affected by acne, you are more likely to be affected by acne too. If you have excessive androgens, which are hormones increasing oiliness, then there are going to be more open pores, acne and scarring. These hormones can be increased by being overweight, having PCOS, high prolactin levels, eating foods with high glycemic index. Also, if there is intake of products like whey protein, testosterone, B-complex vitamins and many other medications, there can be spurt of acne too. According to the severity of acne, acne can be graded into grade 1, mainly white and black heads. White heads are also called as close comedones and they look as eruptions under the skin. Then grade 2, which are predominantly red bumps known as papules. Then grade 3, mainly pus filled bumps known as pustules and grade 4, predominantly cysts which are big bumps under and over the skin filled with fluid. So what are the treatment options for acne? Firstly, prevention of aggravating factors such as frequent massages on the face, use of pomades or oil on the scalp and using makeup products. Then decrease in weight via both exercise and dietary restriction. Exercise should be 30 to 45 minutes at least 5 times a week and diet should be low in sugar content and dairy content. If you are on long-term medications or supplements, changing them can also help in longer period. Then there is use of application creams, which includes retinoid creams. These are available as retinoin, adapalene, tazarotene in different concentration. These are first line of treatment for any kind of acne. They help not only in decreasing acne eruptions, but also increases healing of older acne with minimal scars. Few points to remember. These should be applied on full face and not just affected area. There will be mild dryness which can be taken care of with moisturizer and short contact therapy with retinols. It should be avoided in pregnancy or if you are planning to become pregnant. The other alternatives are azelic acid 10 to 20%, salicylic acid 2% which can be used in the similar ways. Then there are spot treatment for reducing active acne which varies from antibiotic creams like clindamycin, nidifloxacin, erythromycin cream, benzoyl peroxide available as 2.5 to 10% cream and niacinamide creams which varies from 4 to 10%. When there are higher grades of acne then oral treatment is the main treatment one should take. Antibiotics, these are the short term treatment for reducing the severity of acne and taken for duration of 4 to 12 weeks. It includes azithromycin, doxycycline, minocycline, lemicycline, then isoretinoin. It is a long term treatment given for reducing oil production and causes long term remission of acne. Average duration is around 6 to 12 months and pregnancy is absolutely contraindicated with this medication. Hormonal treatment is given to those having acne because of metabolic problems. These will include oral contraceptive pills, anti-androgen, insulin sensitizers like metformin, supplements like myo-inositol and N-acetylcysteine. Along with these therapies, removal of black and white heads with comedone extraction is mandatory. Regular peels like glycolic, salicylic, retinol peels and cryotherapy helps in speedy recovery without any sequelae. Local injection of antibiotics and steroid are required if there are cystic lesions. 
One of the most common questions that acne patient ask me is use of face wash. One should know that washing excessively can also trigger acne. Normally, twice daily washing is considered to be appropriate to maintain a healthy skin. Scientifically, there are not many studies regarding efficacy of face washes, but salicylic 2%, glycolic acid 2%, benzoyl peroxide 4 to 10%, face washes are considered effective for acne prone skin. If you have a dry but acne prone skin, one needs to use a mild cleanser along with moisturizers which are rich in ceramides. Remember to avoid using cleansers and moisturizers containing mineral oil and petrolatum as they can lead to acne itself. Every skin is different and has different regimens, though this is my conscious effort to make you aware all about acne, but a dermatologist's consultation is the best way to take care of it.